also the home of the prettiest girls and the most handsome boys of Ukraine. We welcome Alexa and Artem, our youngest models of this tour, to show the costumes of the Hutsal people and their closeness to Mother Earth. The oranges, reds, yellows, and greens reminds us of uh, Mother Nature, the sunset, the sunrise, spring, autumn, and summer. The Hutsals live to appreciate all the things that the earth gives to us. They cherish it and preserve it for the future generations. Nothing on this earth is more awakening to the soul than the music of the Hutsal. Notice the intricate design of the embroidery of both the boys and girls' shirts. The brown vests are enhanced with colorful pom-poms. The earth tone designs are also prevalent in both the girls' headdresses and the boys' hats. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give a hand to the energetic Hutsals and see how their deep work translates into dance. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us hop on the bus and travel south of Polisa in western Ukraine to the richest Chorozem, or black soil in Ukraine. This area is called Podila. Our dancers, Katya and Julian, are wearing costumes from the Podila region. <laughs> Podila, which means land that lies between the two rivers, gets its name because it lies between the Dniester and Stripa rivers. The rich lands of Podila are covered with blockies, match the buttons, and daisies. And if you look closely at the costumes of our models, that is exactly what you will see. The girls' blouses and the boys' shirts are embroidered with poppies and match the buttons. On their heads, the girls' headdress is decorated with the three flowers of a print. Poppies, bachelor buttons, and daisies. No Ukrainian costume is complete without the Kazakh pants. These wide leg pants allow the boys plenty of room to perform many difficult steps and jumps. They play an important role in Ukrainian history. The Boykos inhabit both slopes of the Middle Carpathian regions of Ukraine. Our very own Diana and Igor are wearing costumes from the Boyko region. This skirt was embroidered with geometric patterns and sometimes with the plants are woven in. Their intricate steps and fast moving music captures the spirit of their people. Fun loving and joyful, they really bring us into their hearts. So let's join in on fun and become a boyfriend for the night. We introduce two of our Barvinov dancers, Zoriana and Danilo. They are wearing the costumes of the Polisa region. Notice the lovely embroidered pattern of red roses on their blouses and their aprons. The striking headdress decorated with ribbons and tiny little flowers makes everybody in the village turn their heads when a beautiful woman passes by. One cannot ignore the handsome young fellas as they parade down the street. They also which add the right touch to the very colorful and vibrant costume. We all know that Ukrainians love to dance, and these young people are typical Ukrainians. So help me give them a shout out or two, and let us see what these young people can do. Thanks to you all.
trip across Ukraine has come to an end, but we cannot leave Ukraine without a visit to Poltava, the heart of Ukrainian art, music, and culture. It is the birthplace of the Ukrainian national costume as we see it portrayed on stage today. Its color, beauty, and artful design have captured the love of audiences all over the world. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Amelia and Julian, whose costumes represent the Poltava region of Ukraine. Slava Ukraini! Slava Ukraini!